Hey guys, it's Paul, Darcy Phone Fighters. Thanks for joining me for this uh, video on the uh, Jupiter project. In this video, we're going to continue on with uh, doing some tests with the Jupiter airplane. In this video, we're going to cover testing of the three airfoils back to back. We're going to cover the uh, Clark Y style airfoil, the KFM2 style airfoil, and the KFM3 airfoil. Um, we finally had good enough weather last weekend to do some flights out of Herman Airport again. So I did take the Jupiter out there and uh, we did some test flights with all three airfoils back to back so I can get kind of a gut feeling of um, how each of them perform. Once we do that, then later on, probably in the coming weeks or months, we're getting into um, doing more of the load testing that we originally set out to do with the project. So let's get into the video out at Herman Airport and see how it all went. Okay guys, hey it's Paul. We're at uh, Herman Airport again. The weather's finally um, above freezing and it's not so windy so I'm going to take the Jupiter back up. I made the Clark Y inserts for the wing. So the first test, I'm going to be doing a Clark Y test. Um, it's not a totally true Clark Y airfoil, but pretty close. Hopefully it'll give us uh, some good characteristics of this airfoil. Then uh, after I get this flowing, I'm going to take these off and I'm going to test it with either the uh, KFM2 or KFM3 airfoils. And then uh, after that, I'll do the other one. So I'll try and get three flights back to back um, with fully charged batteries, hopefully, and everything. And uh, hopefully I can tell what type of uh, characteristics each of them have. Oh, on the back, got a little bomb bay, or a cargo bay I finally hooked up to. <laughs> you see that, Frank? Yeah, I got zoomed. Okay. Did the guy come flying out? I got a little no. parachute man. I'll drop he didn't out. drop out yet. Okay, so this will be the first flight. This is going to be the Clark Y style airfoil. Um, after we get all three of these airfoils tested, it's probably going to be on our next trip out. I'm going to start doing the low tests of the airfoils. Probably start off with like a one or two pound weights on the plane and then just build up from there. Okay, so I'm going to walk it out over there and then uh, we'll take it up. Flock of geese. Notice any difference in the way it's flying? Um, Does it feel any different, or so far it doesn't feel as locked in as the KF Air M2 did last time I took it up. Let me, uh, yeah, I got to trim it. What about CD? Does it feel like it changed at all? That feels pretty much the same. Seems like everything's good. Seems like it's flying uh, without much drag. I'm not sure if we'll get the other ones up in the air and we'll see the speed comparison. Yeah, we should probably should have grabbed the radar. Probably should have grabbed the uh, radar gun. I'm try and see uh, what the slow flight characteristics are. See if I can come in slow and low. It looks pretty good. I'm just hop hand right now. It doesn't really feel a whole lot different to me than uh, KF airfoils. So I think I'll know better when I fly it back to back with the KF airfoil one. Definitely flies nice with the Clark Y too. Um, How stable is it at really slow speeds? How does it feel? Um, it feels fairly stable. Um, it's not twitchy or anything. Did you do a glide test yet? Let me take it up higher. Okay, that's glide. Motor's off. Yeah. Nosing down a little. Still feel pretty stable. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Looks like it stalled out, was stalling out, um, I think probably quicker than the KF airfoil. Yeah, it'll be interesting once you start sticking some weight in them things. Yeah, could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, actually we didn't bring those heavy weights either. I'll probably have to wait till next time. Okay. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna test You got five laps. minutes on this already, dude. Okay. 
Yeah, test them, man. See if that helps you with the slow speed. Whoa! Did you put them on? Yeah, I made it to the a little bit. That was only at one. Did you mix it with the elevator at all or not? No. Like on your F-22? No. Are they still down? Yeah, so it's one notch down. Is that half? Yeah. This radio is pretty cool. This new radio has got a three position switch for flaps. Okay. All right. First runway landing. If I can get this thing focused. Oh, we're getting some sideways, though, man. Yeah, you might want to hit the grass instead, man. <laughs> Although you do have a nice long. Ooh. <laughs> the wind kept pushing it, but. Uh... All right, cool, man. Okay. okay, well, that's the first flight with the Clark Y. Um, I didn't notice anything real terrible about it. It seemed like it's still flying really good. Um, it seems like it did start to stall a little quicker with the Clark Y. Um, I'll test that again when I get the uh, KFM airfoils on it. Okay, well, it was a little squirrely at takeoff because we had some kind of crosswinds. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> okay, with the KFM 2 airfoil, um, it feels like it's uh, definitely a little more secure in the uh, way it flies. It's not as uh, apt to do roll, um, be twitchy in the roll. Um, with the large KFM 2 I have on this plane, it feels like it does create a little more drag. So I might have the steps a little bit too tall, so I may have to create some other inserts to lower the step for the KFM2. So it does, it does feel a little bit slower um, than the Clark Y and the uh, KFM3. Oh, I forgot the cargo bay open. <laughs> there, I closed it. I think they got it. Did they get the parachutes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, makes for a more stable feeling plane when it's flying with the KFM2. Feels more locked in. It feels more like it uh, wants to self level. Oh. Okay, let me see. Okay, they're just gliding. Glides better too at a slower speed. Yeah, the Clark Y seemed like it started to stall when it was uh, going super slow. This KFM2 seemed like it was uh, staying pretty stable and it uh, resisted the stall more. And again, these are, you know, totally scientific um, tests. Just my gut feeling of the way it feels when it's flying. So, you know, there is a uh, open to judgment, but uh, that's kind of my gut feeling on the way the plane feels in the air. Oh, cruising pretty good there with oh, the wind. Oh, is that? <laughs> okay. There's with the flaps. Let's see how slow I can fly with the flap. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and come in for a landing, Tom. Okay. Cool. 
See if I can land on the runway this time. Mm -hmm. The wind changed, so hopefully it's not as much of a crosswind. Oh. Man, the wind is still pushing me. Okay. You yeah, watch that dog coming in. Oh no! Slow, slow! Watch out, watch out, watch out. Slow! There we go. Yeah. Oh, Woo. Oh, oh. I need to put some skids on the wings. <laughs> okay. So that's the KFM2 flight. Um, it looks like it did help a lot with the flaps. I just had the flaps all the way down too on the landing, so brought it in nice and slow. Um, so far, so good. Cool. Got that kid over there.